right, guys, welcome back. We are in the TLX again, doing another transport video, but this time we aren't doing it with supercars. We're doing it with an insane dozer. I tried, some people were like, Spencer, sometimes we don't want to hear you. We just want to hear the truck. So that's what I'm going to try and do this time. Talk a little less. Let's get the flashers on. We're about to pull in. Wait a second. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to pull off. There was no exit. Okay, I, I, I went past my exit. I'll have to take, I think I can take this right here. Slow down, slow down. Okay, this should be it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, perfect. I was like, wait a second. I'm old school. I don't use uh, I don't use as much GPS as I probably should. Okay, this is a bit tighter turn than I would like. Oh, dang, it's a 90 degree. -er. Let's see if we can swing wide here, just over the culvert. Come on, big cat. All right, we're gonna have to take it. Oh, she kicked over. Perfect. I don't think we dipped in there too bad. But we're heading over to a John Deere dealership right now, and they have a uh, they have a big bulldozer there that we're gonna be running to a job site in the city about a hundred miles away. So we got big money for this. This is this is a heavy son of a gun. Here she is. We're pulling in, dude. This is by far my favorite truck in the game. The sounds of it is amazing. I'm not gonna act like I know too much about semi trucking. But I know it's beautiful. It's a good truck. TLX 9000. Somebody was saying that they, it's not allowed on console anymore, but I looked it up and it still is. Anyway, I'm, I don't know what the news on on that is, but I, I went with kind of the old the old stripes. I, I like the old red. I think it's going to be good. We got the visor on the front, the bull bar. We got oversized load, the grill. If any deer come out, we're going to smoke them. So we should be fine there. Got the extra fuel capacity. And then I think I got, yeah, I got the option that this is like more elongated. I'm not too sure what that serves, but hey, it's fun. And then we got the Load King 50 ton trailer, which which should be able to handle it. It's a low boy, 50 tons. That's a lot of tons, 100,000 pounds. So we have a few attachments. We, we're, we're running one, two, three, four, five, six axles on here with tandems as well. So we have plenty enough to support it. And this is the D11T. So we got the blaze, dozer blade on the front as well, which weighs quite a bit. I called in early, kind of asked these guys how I should load it up because this low boy, I, I don't think I can come from the ground with the dozer. So they said they have a loading ramp in the parking lot just east of here. So I saw that when we pulled in. We're going to head over there with the dozer. There we go. She fires up real good. See if we can get a turn around here. I'm actually kind of surprised they have this on the on the concrete. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. That's a I think that's a gravel lot over there, but with the steel track, seems like kind of busts up the concrete. Let's see if I can take the dirt, but jump over to the loading ramp, bring around the low boy, and we'll get it loaded up. Hopefully this load should be wide enough. And this is gonna be a fun video. If you guys enjoy it, smash the like button. Let's get right into it. All right, I disconnected our rear axle support because we can't load it up if we have that on there and it might get damaged. Yeah, we we have to have that off, but it, it's gonna come in handy for just extra support, keeping things properly weighted and not too much load on like a certain set of axles. So it'll be good at distributing the weight. Okay, testing up my backing up skills. Let's see how it goes. TLX 9000. It's tough, it's tough. Once this, uh, once this goes the wrong way, it's kind of hard to correct it, but I think if I just small changes okay, it's going one way here <laughs> oh gosh i don't know if uh it'll straighten it back out we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do do our best i'm not the most realistic farm some youtuber but hey we're trying let's use the back okay i can't see anything now gosh dang it i'll go to third person there we go i am on keyboard not saying that's an excuse or anything i honestly i prefer keyboard just for what i do but obviously having an xbox controller would probably help a little bit okay keep going i want to be square on that loading ramp too i don't want to I don't want to have it like a little off then all of a sudden it leans one way okay yeah see that's not how i want it it's it's uh it's not square so the right side's hitting it in the left side there's a gap all right let's see if we can fix it i don't know if it's going to correct in time no it didn't all right let's see if that fixes it uh that's a little better all right i think we're gonna give that a shot that is a little better it's not perfect but hey we're gonna give it a shot here we go. This is, uh, I should probably have a spotter, but we'll see. Can barely even see the trailer. Here we go. Oh, it's moving the trailer a bunch. There we go. I think we're officially off the loading ramp all on the trailer. Come on. Nice and easy. I can see we're literally moving the truck. All right, here we go. Every time we go, we rock it back and forth. I have the parking brake on all the brakes. Trailer brakes are on as well. Okay. I think let's drop this blade. Let's see where we're at. Okay, honestly, I like that. I like that. It seems like there's quite a bit of weight on the rear, but once we get that support on, it should help a little bit. 
All right, we got her strapped down to the best of my ability. She seems pretty solid on there. We have one, two, three, four, five straps, one over the Doge Blade. Don't know if the straps are going to do too much. It's, uh, we'll see though. Obviously, we'd love to have actually like legit transporting chains, but it's farm sim. We can't always get what we want, I guess. And there we go. We are off. We got the the rear axle back on. I'm, this is a lot. It takes a lot of power in the TLX. So we're going to jump on the... Yeah, we're going to jump on the interstate. And I, I talked to one of the deer employees and I said, what, what's the best way out here? Because the way we came was not the best, especially once we have the load. So he said, go back into town. There's a bigger, um, more traffic, but there's a big, bigger, bigger entrance onto the interstate. So it should be good. This is, uh, this is a big load, boys. All right, we're cruising 30, 35 mile an hour through here. She's hauling it just fine. I'm taking up literally the whole entire road. But yeah, he's right. There's a good exit onto the, or there's a good en entrance onto the, uh, onto the interstate and by the way guys this, this dozer is like one of the heaviest things i've ever played with or used in farm sim using super strength mod you can't even pick it up so this is a no joke this is a huge dozer and i messed around pulling it with in-game semis i haven't i won't show that but when you do it it just literally pops a wheelie and it's bad here we go boys we're heading on to the interstate set the crew i think we're gonna cruise at 45 50 through town here it's uh speed limits 50 but let me get in the right side of the road here we go we got her set for 50 she looks good in my mirrors i got the hazards on strobes on oversized load marked what we don't have is patrol cars but hey you can't always uh can't always have their so can't always have somebody helping you all the time but there we go there we go listen to the engine brake oh that's so sick that's beautiful we're rolling coal. We got the engine brake running. This is uh, this is the most American thing we might have done in farm sim in a while. There's the house that we delivered to the other day here in West Texas. But we're heading to Hel Helvita. There's a huge construction project subdivision being built in the city. So that's what we're a part of. That's what we're going to do. I will see you guys once we get closer. All right, guys, we are in the middle of the city, the hardest place to be doing what we're doing. But this is the only way through the, the, the road that I wanted to take was was completely under construction and then the other road was going up the alpines it was like a back road through the mountains and i guess that would probably be worse than what we're doing right now because we chose this um maybe it was the wrong move but i was not going up any mountains might as well make little priuses go around me then uh go screaming down a hill into a runaway truck zone and like crash and die but we don't want to do that so it's not too much further we're actually about through town right now we just kind of make it over the bridge there's this speed bump that we are gonna destroy all right here we go here's the speed bump okay it's good it, it wasn't too bad i was wrong all right so we're gonna keep shooting through here it shouldn't be too bad i'm not uh i'm pretty happy with how it's going so far like i said like five more miles up here we'll be at the construction zone hopefully it's easy access hopefully it's not wet wet i looked on the weather app and they got some rain here recently so all right, that uh, that concrete truck just literally pulled out in front of me. What a what a scumbag! But we're gonna keep going here, boys. It has been a uh, it's been a fun trip going through town there. Honestly, everybody just almost turned around and went the other way so they didn't get hit by the the dozer blade. But it does stick out a ways. I did smoke a stop sign when I wasn't recording. I was taking a turn and just took it off. So I jumped out of the truck, grabbed my duct tape and and kind of taped it as best I could. But you can't win them all. So it's just up here. Not too bad. We'll get it unloaded. They said it's kind of a farm field and there's a house next to it or something so we'll see how it goes the old engine brake i'm running up on this guy pretty quick i'm on the brakes dude we could not slow down oh my goodness dude the truck sounds so good all right i must have missed my turn because there was no way to get i think we almost have to take the bridge and we have to get across you know what i was wrong all right this is the turn right here this is it so this is kind of weird this is where the address is getting taken to i'm not sure if this is where it's gonna be working at it says it says it's just right here okay i guess there's a house way over there i'm gonna go ahead sit here and uh and call the call the number that i have for the delivery and make sure i'm in the right spot all right yep just got off the phone this is it we're gonna get it unloaded this should be fun we're gonna detach from here pull forward a bit and the nice thing about this is we can actually lower this to make it a little easier of an offload not so hard on the trailer all right so let's get all the straps taken off shouldn't be too bad 
there we go straps look good and i'll show you guys we can actually lower this it lowers about six inches which is quite a bit i'll show you here look at the trailer all right here we go go ahead lower it and there we go so it just clears the tires so that you don't like puncture the tires or destroy them let's get her unloaded boys this is a beast oh my goodness here we go got to make sure i lift up the blade that's good all right nice and easy it's like every time i stop like the truck shakes we're square and we're on the ground perfect there we go we'll uh we'll put this on the side and get out of it get out of here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that was a big payday for us nobody wanted this job just because like the complexity of like going through the city and the weight and everything but this trailer the load king was a beast off to use this for more jobs like this so hope you guys enjoyed the video smash like button if you haven't already subscribe as well and uh, this was a fun one let me know if i should make more like this and we can do some crazy hauling videos with this setup because i like it trailer the semi's a beast extra fuel capacity we can go a long ways it's stretched out seemed like we uh we pulled that pretty good so I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.